out. Ooh, the camera went beep. Is that right? Did the camera go beep? What about you two? You want a bicky? Come on. Come on, little boy. That's a boy. That's a good boy. You'll have to look for it again. Your, your biscuit is at your feet, my dear. Look down. That's it. There's another one because she's standing on yours. Mrs. Whitetail. Yeah. Mrs. Whitetail is standing where I keep all of my dirty plates and cooking gear. And then when I'm about to use it, I wash it. And that way I know it's clean. Whereas when you live on the forest floor, you have to accept that when the lights go out, you get critters running around inside your cupboards. There's Mr. Kangarilla Roo showing off his biceps. He's a big boy, aren't you? So yeah, years and years and years ago I realised I had a choice. I could live in an atmosphere of insecticide bath, or I could put my used plates and pots outside on the ground and that way the possums know where to come and pick up my spare food. They don't try to invade the house. And I don't pick up a plate that looks as if it's clean that I remember washing two or three days ago and get to eat cockroach footprints. Pretty good at using trees for cover, isn't he? Hey? You want to keep an eye on what's going on, but you don't necessarily want to be seen. That's how you got to be so big and so old. Funny the way you girls have got a different bloke every day. Yesterday it was Billy Longarms, the day before that it was Rowan of Wren, today it's the Kangarilla Roo. Anybody want another biggie? Yes. yes. Oh, you're going to hold my fingers. It's pretty rare that, isn't it? Just as long as you don't try to eat my fingers. Yes. You're a nice girl, aren't you, kid? Yes. Okay. That'd be enough. Thank you. Oh, you'd like another bicky too, would you? Oh, you'll have to wait there. Oh, yes, yes. You quite often grab me, don't you? You? Oh yes, you're holding your arms out. That means get in the pouch. That's a girl. Standing directly up sun. She has a very, very genteel way of nibbling at biscuits, does Mrs. Dogface.
still want more, don't you, dear? Yes, but you can't eat the camel. No, you can't eat the camel. It's not for the eating of. It's your side profile is kind of the cutest. Yes, it is. Well, what about you, Feisty? Feisty, you want a biscuit? Okay, you go and stand there. Wait there. It's the kangaroo. -roo. Big boy. Mrs. Whitetail here seems to be the attraction. That's a boy. Mm -hmm. I think that's fruit cake. Vicky, come on. Come on. Yes, I know. I know. You're here. You want more. Yes, you do. But I was, in fact, showing the swamp wallaby. So, the marsupial breakfast critters say thank you very much to the chirpy birdies in England for recommending the extra feed. And for Earl Portland, I hope now my method of storing dirty dishes outside after the possums have licked them clean and then washing them before I go to use them. I hope it sort of makes sense because um, to me it's just nicer than living in a world of insecticides to prevent having to eat cockroach footprints. Uh, it doesn't seem to even run the risk of breaking plates from the marsupials rattling around among them. They, they very rarely break a cup or a plate. They're actually quite well mannered and well behaved. Even the big ones. Warbles on a lot of YouTube. Ciao.